What is happening, everyone? <clears throat> it is you, boy Brad here. Welcome along to the Big Brad channel, and it is the day after the final. The dust has settled, and Italy are the European champions. That is right. England lose the European Championship final on penalties. 1-1 one, one after 90 minutes, 1-1 one, one after extra time, goes to penalties, and we lose 3-2. And we missed three penalties on the spin. Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho, and Bukayo Saka. That, that, was, that was so harsh. That was so harsh on the young man, Bukayo Saka, to take what was renowned and known as the most crucial penalty of them all and the pressure got to him and are you surprised he's a kid and he stepped up to the plate but Donnarumma read him and he saved it and the way the boys just hurdled round him huddled round him after that was just beautiful to see and Gareth Southgate went straight over as well to um, give him a hug and Tell him to keep your chin up, keep your head up. But it must have been hard for him. It must have been hard for him, Rashford and Sancho, who unfortunately, as well, I must get this in as well, unfortunately, after the game, after the penalty shootout ended, they all received racist, yeah, um, racial abuse on social media. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Whoever... These people are, are not true born England fans. They are not true football fans. If they are going to racially abuse people, that's not. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. And especially for a 19, 20 year old kid who's. The pressure on his shoulders must have been massive. I mean. You're thinking we had Sterling, Grealish, all these other players, but Saka was chosen to take the penalties and Gareth Southgate even admitted he said that it was um, his decision who took the penalties and they had been practising penalties if it ever came to that scenario, which it did, unfortunately. But commiserations to England, but I want to say a massive congratulations to Italy on winning Euro 2020. They've been... For me, they've been the best team of the tournament. They've beaten Belgium, the golden generation. They've beaten Spain. They breezed through their group. I mean, what more can I say? Italy, under Mancini, 34 games unbeaten now. Congratulations. That's all I can say. Congratulations. Congratulations to Mancini. Congratulations to Italy. The commiserations to uh, the boys. And um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to slag Southgate off like most of the fans are um, around the world and around the country and such. I'm not going to slag him off because he's taken us further than we have ever been in our lifetime. I mean, check back the history books. I mean, World Cups. We've been eliminated in the most embarrassing way possible in some of them. I mean, we've been eliminated by, in the Euros, particularly 2008. We didn't even make the tournament in 2008. And, yeah, I could go on forever about all the different heartaches and such that have happened. But last night was literally just traumatic. And, I mean, I, as soon as Saka missed, I broke down. I literally broke down and... um. I couldn't hold back my tears and I couldn't hold back um, my emotions, but I'm proud. That's all I can say. I am absolutely proud of Gareth and the boys for going, giving us a ride that we will never forget for a long time. We've reached a major cup final for the first time in 55 years, but unfortunately it didn't come home. It went to Rome and that's the way it is, but... For me, I'm going to give a run of my, in my opinion, of the game. 
Um, starting off the first half, I mean, first minute, first minute, we go 1-0 up. Luke Shaw, just like we did against Ukraine, we go 1-0 up. But then, Italy are not breaking us down. We played the perfect system in the first half, and they literally could not break us down. Excuse me. Uh, they couldn't break us down, and they hardly had any chances. But for me, this is where he got it wrong. This is where Gareth got it wrong. His decision-making, his game management. I mean, we got to the 60th minute, and you're thinking at this point, we need Grealish on. We need Sancho on. Henderson. I mean, I'd have, to, I'd have bought Mount off at that point. I'd have probably bought Sterling off at that point because he wasn't really affecting the game as well as we would have thought. And the midfield, as soon as Italy got control of the midfield, they just bossed it. They just absolutely bossed it in the second half. As soon as they got control of the ball in the midfield, they just put us to sleep. And I mean, <clears throat> Jack Grealis did come on late. It was way too late and wow. But those are the decisions that he had to get right and he didn't. And unfortunately, Benucci equalised. But Chiellini for me and Jorginho, neither of them should have been on the pitch. Neither of them should have been on the pitch because Chiellini, he literally grabbed Saka's shirt and pulled it back like he was going to strangle him. He was strangling him. He was literally pulling it back. That's a red card. Any day of the week. And Jorginho, he was going in for a, a tackle on the ball. Jack Grealish was down on the floor. And Jorginho studs first, stamps on Grealish's knee. And it's just a yellow. Just a yellow. But I'm not going to blame the referee. But he did. The referee was a bit... He was a bit sus suspect. But I'm not going to blame the ref for the loss. It, it, penalty shootout. It's a game of poker. A penalty shootout is a game of poker. Then, obviously, we got to extra time after 1-1. One, one, flew through extra time. Got to the shootout. And we were put through the most brutal heartache you could ever imagine as a football fan. Penalties. They are they are traumatic. And I mean, no team likes to lose on penalties. But it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. But... I'm so proud. I'm so proud to be English. I'm so proud of the boys for getting us this far and taking us on this exhilarating ride. But now it's back to club football. Back to club football now. And um, we move on. Next year, could it come home next year? Qatar 2022? We still believe. We still believe. But I'm just going to run through um, my... My player ratings um, for the game, starting goal, John Pickford. I mean, the one thing that I really didn't like about Pickford was the fact that he was booting the ball long when we haven't really got that much of a threat up front in terms of a uh, target man. I mean, Kane's good in the air, but against Chiellini and Benucci, two of the most experienced centre-backs who we didn't even test enough with our speed, yeah, that's what Pickford was doing, but he made some good saves. Kept us in the game, so I'll give Pickford a 7. Well, actually, no, I'll give him a 6. I'll give him a 6. I'm um, going to the wing-back position, starting for Kyle Walker. Or Trippier, I should say, not Walker. Uh, Kieran Trippier. Um, set up the first goal. And really, that's all he did before he came off. But he did run the channel well down the right. Same with Luke Shaw on the left. They ran the channels well in the first half, but it just fell apart in the second half. Uh, give Kieran Trippier a six as well. Luke Shaw give the same a six. Well, actually, I'll give him a seven. He scored the goal, the opening goal, the final, and we went one 0 up. We're in dreamland. We're thinking it's coming home, and then it happened. Everything else happened after that. But Luke Shaw again, another great performance. Give him a seven. Um, Harry Maguire. I'll give a six. All the back three. I'll give a six. Shaw, Maguire, no, no, Shaw, um, Walker, Shaw, Stones, and Maguire. All give a six. Uh, the midfield two of Declan Rice and Phillips, again, 
they got overran in the midfield and I've said Declan Rice should not have started that game but it is what it is now and it's over but give them both a six Mason Mount did nothing gets a four didn't offer anything at all during the game it was really quiet um, Harry Kane exactly the same didn't affect the game in any way give him a five and same with Raheem Sterling give him a five as well so there are my player ratings as well as um, my overall thoughts of the final. So if you do enjoy the video, um, slap a like on it for me and um, give me some positive feedback. And subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll be back at the beginning of the season in August for Arsenal. So until next time, we will see you later. Commiserations to England. God bless.